I don't know, it just breaks my heart. <sighs> okay, what are you doing with my baby? <laughs> I can't, I'm like, I'm getting teary eyed just like thinking about it. Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday. I start a new rotation tomorrow. Yikes, I'm very excited, but also very nervous. It's pediatric rotation. It's inpatient, so it's gonna be pretty wild. But nonetheless, I'm very excited. Let's turn. Oh, it's so dark. I heard the schedule is gonna be pretty crazy, and <laughs> I'm excited because I've been missing inpatient. I've been in a lot of outpatient stuff, so kind of ready to see some inpatient stuff again. I got a room over there just because I don't want to be driving really far and it's a lot of wear and tear on my car and time and I don't want to be exhausted to driving to and from so I got a room over there for a few nights a week and then I'll drive like one or two of the days just to make it easier and cheaper. I hear that all we need are scrubs but the first day we have to wear business professional so I pack some scrubs and just like my toiletries and all of that. Right now I'm also just finishing up this little video thing. It's for like a stroke rehab app that I work for. So I had filmed some clips for the stroke rehab videos and I'm gonna send them over and uh, have the, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna have some coffee because I need it very much. Had a long weekend. Okay, let's pack, shall we? Let's pack. These are the things that I'm taking with me on my pediatric rotation. Um, so this I've had, we got one from the school, but I've also had this. I don't really know what I'm gonna need for the rounds or what I want to have. So I have this little clipboard thing. These are all available on Amazon. I'll try to link them down below. I also got some just like white paper <laughs> um, without holes and just to put on this clipboard this and you can fold it up and put it in your coat pocket so i have this okay and then this is what i'm really excited about i got a pediatrics h p notebook and then it has this chart here in it i think there's a oh, well child vitals growth charts etc okay, normal pediatric lab values really helpful apgar scores fluid management doses, immunization schedule. Wow, these are incredible. I'm gonna put these on my badge. And then I got some pens from Amazon. Um, it's always just good to have pens that you don't really have an attachment to because if anyone needs a pen and you're like, hey, here, take this pen, um, know that you probably won't get it back. I'd rather have like cheaper pens than have like really nice pens and also I wanted ballpoint pens because the other pens I noticed will sometimes leak in my white coat. Monday and I'm starting my pediatric rotation today. We have orientation this morning and then we go straight into wherever we're assigned so I'm not sure where I'm gonna be today. I'll, I'll find out when I get in there so I need to get in there though. Both of my, my I am and family. I can't wait to tell you. I can't wait to freaking tell you how it's been going. Oh my goodness but I'm gonna go change right now because they're like, oh, you should wear scrubs um, and, and ditch the white coat because I'm in nursery this weekend. I'll catch you up in a second. Hang on. You guys, I'm so happy. Um, what a great day. I'm so happy. 
happy. In the morning we had an orientation for Epic training and that's the EMR that this hospital uses. Essentially how it's gonna work for the next four weeks is that we will be either in the nursery, in the wards, or in the outpatient clinic. I am blessed with being in the nursery this week. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I can't, like, I'm getting teary-eyed just like thinking about it. <sighs> okay. <sighs> All of these babies, they're brand new. They're brand stinking new. They like, they're brand new. They're fresh. They are so cute. Oh my God, they're so cute. They're so small and so cute and like their little faces while I was staring at them my eyes were watering so much just because I was so emotional like I just I don't know what overcame me but they they're so precious they're the most like beautiful little little humans ever and it just made me so happy and to see how happy mom was and and like that's her baby it just made me like so I felt so good. I mean, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy that I, that's my. This is my first week with them. I'm hoping I can try and get one more week in the nursery because, oh my gosh, I love it. I just love it. So I need to clean up this place and I need to shower and stuff. I'm like allergic to my deodorant or something, and my whole arm, underarm, is like really painful and red and and yeah. Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. For the rest of the night, I have some Anki that I need to do, and then I have to do like 25 U World questions, review them, figure out what the curriculum is for pediatrics for my school, because there's like a curriculum within going on rotations, there's stuff we have to do. I want to read up on some of this nursery stuff so I can be really good at it tomorrow. Yeah, yay, I'm so excited to see the babies. Also, I'm gonna be wearing like the same outfit the next few days since I'm here. All right, so what's up everyone? I have just been studying here, but I wanted to share something really exciting with you. So I am once again an ambassador for Ana Luisa and I'm so excited to be working with them again. I absolutely adore this brand and 100% endorse them. They are great and they're the reason why I wear jewelry. So I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got recently from them and tell you about their biggest sale that they're having right now and then a little bit about the brand if that's okay. I got this bracelet recently from them. I have been wearing it in the last few vlogs, I think, but um, I thought it was so unique and then this is also an old piece from them, but I love having these with my watch and stacking them looks really nice. And then and I also got these earrings. I thought they were so elegant and I've never seen anything like it, honestly. And then these is, this is an old piece that I have from them. And I also got a pair of these. I think these are gorgeous, but I have one up here in my little cartilage piercing. Oh, and then my necklace. A lot of you ask where this is from and it is also from Ana Luisa. Something that is really impressive to me is that they're actually the first direct to consumer jewelry brand to become completely carbon neutral. So. That means that the amount of CO2 that they produce, they have to counterbalance that with producing as much oxygen to make that neutral. They have been working on this for a long time. They have been evaluating and tracking their sourcing all the way to production and the shipping, even their office life, and trying to reduce reduce their carbon footprint. That's really impressive that they've become carbon neutral. And what's even more admirable is that they are working to reduce their carbon dioxide production as a whole. And I think that is really ambitious. And essentially their efforts to not destroy the earth with production of goods like this is um, really important and a lot of brands don't think about that. And they're actually running their biggest sale of the year right now and since the holidays are coming up, it's buy one get one 60% off. So I'll have all the information including the link down below in the description box. They make great gifts. I've got my mom and my sister and a few of my friends last year some gifts from them. Actually, actually Dr. Jenny Lay, I got her a bracelet from them and she wears it a lot. So I wanted to share that with you very exciting, very honored to be working with them again. So, hey! Good morning. I'm just getting to the hospital. It's about 6.15 in the morning. Got up at like 5.30. Gonna go check on those babies. <laughs> I'm so excited.
Two weeks of five. Two weeks of five, twelve. I had to get up early today to get here and round on my one baby. <laughs> so cute, I'm gonna have two tomorrow. Today was really cool. I got to do a physical on this little newborn baby, brand new. <laughs> Brand new little baby. It's so cute. I just can't get enough of them. They're so stinking cute. This morning I got here, chart reviewed um, on the baby and mom. And I was like really nervous to go in the room just because it's like, that's your new baby. I feel weird touching someone else's brand new baby. I'd imagine the mom wanting to be protective. What are you doing with my baby? So I wanted to make sure I was doing everything as close to perfect as I could be. I'm gonna go back and change and study and have some coffee because <sighs> clearly I need it. So I'm here right now working on some U World and I've done a bunch of stuff. I finished some Anki, I finished some school work I had to do. But anyways, I was just sitting here thinking about, you know, my day today because it was really, it was great but also it was pretty sad. There were um, some babies that it, it's they're sad, they're sad babies. For example, um, a baby that's not really wanted or not going to be cared for in the right way. So getting social workers involved and it's really sad. And I'm just thinking about how these babies are brought into the world and they were in like such a warm place being carried by mom to be put in the little bassinet that the hospital has and for mom not to want to hold the baby at all and kind of neglect the baby and it's just so sad. I would love to just like hold that baby. <laughs> I would hold that baby for like the whole shift. They like don't have a voice. I don't know, it just breaks my heart. Like pediatrics, I could see how it could be very, very, very depressing. Just got a little emotional for a second there, don't mind me. Just like reflecting on, uh, I guess, circumstances that people are born into and I just wish that I could change it and make it better. I feel good knowing that I get to go there and while I'm there with the baby that gives some love off to the baby. Another day. It's cold. <laughs> So this hospital has Panera, but I signed up for this thing where I can get free coffee every two hours. It's a pretty busy day. There's a lot of babies. A lot of babies aren't going home. So they're just being born and born and born and then they stay there. Usually they get discharged after like a day or two, but um, a lot of them, they're not doing as great as we want them to be. So some of them are staying. Actually, most of them are staying. <laughs> so happy um they were closed when i got here so got my coffee now let's start reviewing i gotta go resume and then see my three babies i saw two new babies this morning and i got to help out the resident which i like doing where's my car so since I've just been studying and I have been showing you my day but not really explaining everything that I'm doing, I figured that I could kind of tell you what I do. So um, in the morning I get there and the resident will the resident will assign me a few patients. So I'm at three babies right now and I kind of did four today. But um, yeah, so I did three babies, two new and one was follow up from the day before. When you look at the baby, you unwrap them obviously. And I like to listen to the heart and lungs first because then they get all 
agitated and crying and then you're you can't hear so <laughs> their hearts really fast it's crazy it's so cute You are called to examine a baby in the nursery. On your exam, you note generalized hypotonia with a poor moral reflex, upward slanted palpebral fissures, epicanthal folds, a flat nasal bridge, short neck with redundant skin, wide gap between the first and second toes. Uh, which of the following cardiac defects is this baby most likely to have? They're describing a baby with Down syndrome, so you would need to know that by the description. And then what cardiac defects are associated with Down syndrome babies. Um, they have problems with their endocardial cushions, I think. So an atrial septal defect would be the answer. All right, I'm gonna work on this. And I go to the head and I feel their head and um, their sutures sometimes they're overlapping and the head will like expand and those sutures will fuse as they come together um, you can have a cephalohematoma so just kind of like a little like bump bruise it's more off to the side um, and then you can have uh, bruising of the head if baby comes down really fast through the birth canal like descends too quickly they can get bruising the ears are they too low are they have any like lesions Do they look normal if their eyes and the red reflex should be present on both sides Put your finger in the baby's mouth feel for the palate see if it's intact see if their sucking reflex is intact um, they'll just start sucking on your finger you um, tickle their cheek the rooting reflex and they should turn to the side see if they grab your hands um, you feel their brachial pulses and make sure that those are strong come down to the femoral pulses you look at the umbilical cord stump and see how that is straighten their legs and see the little folds on their skin and make sure they're symmetrical you do this ortolani I think that's how you say it like for hip dysplasia stuff their foot grasp you do it on both sides you just like stick your finger and press kind of like at the top and they should curl their toes and then right after that i do the babinski reflex and they should flare their toes on both sides oh, i turn them over check the back check the spine and then see if they have the congenital dermal melanocytosis i think it's called <laughs> it's usually like a little dark spot on their bottom towards their sacrum. Then after that, you look at their genitalia, you make sure that it looks how it's supposed to. Yeah, that's a lot.